Aye, uh, uh, can somebody help me out here? Right, uh, Thursday I watched Final Destination 1 and 2. Yesterday I watched 3 and 4. And this morning I've watched number 5. However, it doesn't make sense now. Spoilers for number 5 and tiny spoilers for the rest of the movie. So if you haven't seen them, just don't watch this video. But... At the end of number five, well, the movie's all about premonitions that happen, and then the people that are supposed to die don't die because the person that had the premonition, who was also supposed to die, rescues them. But then death wants them dead because they aren't supposed to be alive at that minute. Um, well, you get the gist. You're supposed to die, you don't, you're gonna die anyways. Horrific accidents, just some disgusting stuff. However, at the end of number five, it it shows you the start of number one. Now, why is it called number five if it shows you the start of number one? And also, the devil, who's the black coroner guy, who's in one, two, and five, he says, oh, I've experienced this before. Well, he hasn't experienced it, but he's known teenagers that have had premonitions and escaped death. But have found themselves on death's list. So why would he say, I've seen this type of thing before, if number five is the start of number one? Because I don't know if number five is supposed to be a prequel or anything, but number one is about the plane crash, right? And the ball, sorry, the plane burst into a big ball of flames and stuff. Number five you see that fighting bit, I was like, this seems a bit familiar when they're on the plane. And then all of a sudden, you see the fight happening between the two people that don't like each other. Who he ends up saving twice in the first movie. Well, it saved him three times, and a billboard killed him at the end, so... But, they're on the plane. <laughs> then he hears the flight attendant say, oh, this kid had a premonition, or a vision that the plane was going to there's no ball flames or something like that. I should mention that he thought he saw something. And then the dude, the main guy who had the premonition in the fifth movie, is starting to panic. And he's like, oh no. Um, so if you actually have any theories on why number five is set before number one, and number five is set in the first movie on the plane, and the black coroner guy, who is actually the devil... He's listed as the devil in the credits. He says, I've saw this type of thing before. How? Right? Number five is before the first movie. So if you have watched the movies, and if you have any theories, you, nobody leaves comments that much, but if you fancy helping us out, please. I think I need it.